This is breaking news from CBS 11. We're running from inside the mall to Dillard's and they were just screaming to get out. That's when everybody started getting out. Then the store manager said for everybody to evacuate. Breaking news out of Texas now. El Paso police are investigating a mass shooting at a local Walmart and a nearby shopping center. According to CBS News, at least 19 people have been killed and 22 people have been hospitalized, including a four-month-old child. Tragic news out of El Paso this evening. Good evening. I'm Madison Sawyer. Right now, we know that police say one man is in custody after they say he went into that local Walmart with a rifle and shot multiple people. We can confirm that the suspected gunman, 21-year-old Patrick Curseus of Allen, Texas, is in custody. CBS's Kenneth Craig has more on this developing story. Heavily armed police swarmed the Cielo Vista Mall as a helicopter flew overhead. This is a large crime scene, a large area, so we are systematically going through it and making sure that anybody in the area, number one, we're ruling out that no one is a suspect, and we're also making sure that those people that were separated or hurt are getting the care that they need. This Walmart employee said it took a moment to realize what was going on. I hear them closer and louder, and that's when I realize I'm like, okay, this is like serious. Mm -hmm. So I see people running right away, and that's when I react, and I'm like, okay. This man witnessed the chaos as it unfolded. Some of uh, the other employees, they were coming in, and they would they would tell me that they heard some gunshots, and people just started bolting straight into the store uh, in order to get get to cover. And it is very hard to think about this. Um. Speaking at an event in Nevada, Democratic presidential candidate and former El Paso Congressman Beto O'Rourke reacted to the news as information was still coming out. So I just ask for, for everyone's strength for El Paso right now, everyone's resolve to make sure that this does not continue to happen in, in this country. On Twitter, President Trump said he's been in contact with Texas Governor Greg Abbott and is pledging the full support of the federal government. Kenneth Craig, CBS News. Now, as we mentioned, we have learned that Curseus, the alleged suspect, has ties to North Texas, specifically in Allen. Sources tell CBS 11 that Curseus attended and possibly graduated from Plano Senior High School in 2017. Our Yona Gavino is live in Allen tonight at a home that we are told Curseus may have ties to. Yona, what have you seen so far this afternoon? Madison, there's quite a bit of activity outside of this Allen home that you can see just over my shoulder. We haven't seen anyone go in or out the whole day, but take a look right here. We're giving you a live look at what is a local police officer and another a law enforcement officer out here. There have been uh, quite a number of unmarked squad vehicles outside the door. Now, let's go back to the house because earlier today, Madison, we knocked on the door. And a gentleman answered, but he yelled, go away, and then closed the door. Now, we did knock on neighbors' doors, try to talk to them as well, to shed some light on who lives here and what exactly the connection to the El Paso suspected shooter is. But neighbors say an older couple lives here, and one person said they believe that they may have seen a grandson here at the residence a couple years back. But again, we did show them a picture of Crucius, but no one could really tell us specifically if that was the young man that they had seen before. We are still working together. Gather more details, but Madison, that's the very latest. Back to you. Yeah, no, we know you'll have more on that information in, in a little bit, especially on our 10 o'clock news coming up tonight. Now, crowds are already gathering in El Paso, ready to donate blood for those that were affected by today's shootings. This video was taken at a blood donation center in El Paso, and you can see people crowded in there, and the line actually at some of those blood donation sites have wrapped around buildings as people want to help out in the midst of this tragedy. We're told North Texas Red Cross will be assisting El Paso and those that are injured. And earlier this week, Carter Blood Care in North Texas reported that both in North Texas and nationwide, there was already a shortage for blood for transfusions and that there's an urgent need for people to donate blood. If you want to help, you're urged to donate blood at any Red Cross or Carter Blood Care location. Meanwhile, another Texas group is stepping in to help. The Texas Baptist men say that they've mobilized volunteers following the shooting. Shooting and will assist in recovery efforts. Those volunteers will work with the Salvation Army to feed first responders and will stay in El Paso, they say, as long as needed. We're going to continue to follow that breaking news and provide you with updates both here and on social media, as well as our website, cbsdfw.com.